we're trying to make the, the lighting in here, which is atrocious, uh, work. So I tried standing in the shower. You want to do it here? How's the lighting here? Ugly? The lighting, the lighting is dreadful. Disgusting. Don't jump. <sighs> we're going to do this. It's going to be a bit random. Your album is called... Cool. Like you're supposed to say, Hi. you know... You're supposed to say hi, hi and Cassie okay. from, you know, whatever is the name of the thing. Okay, so hi, I'm Cassie from Cassie's Big Night In, but this is Backstage Banter, and we're here with Harper Simon. Okay, Aretha or Adele? Aretha. Margaritas or mojitos? It's straight tequila. Okay. <laughs> Not London or LA? Well, I live in LA now, but I have such a deep affection for both cities. Alright. 70s or 80s? 70s. Miley Cyrus or Taylor Swift? I, I can't answer that. I've never heard Miley Cyrus. Haven't you? No. Beach or mountain? Oh, I guess beach. Rave party or dinner party? Dinner party. Smart or casual? Casual. Book or Kindle? No, I don't know. Smart? You know. Oh, so you're be, smart casual. Be creative. You're both. <laughs> I don't know. What about book or Kindle? I, I don't have a Kindle. No, book. Super, definitely. Book. Apple or PC? Apple. Good heart or good body? Both would be nice. <laughs> If you had to choose. Preferably. Good okay. heart, I guess. Yeah, <laughs> Okay, sense of humor or genius level intellect? Genius level intellect sounds very tiresome. World peace or world domination? World peace. Early bird or night owl? Night owl. Hugs or kisses? Neither. <laughs> Bye. Dalai Lama or Russell Brand? Dalai Lama. How does that even happen? That question. I don't know. I just <laughs> I don't know. Do you do you consider yourself a late bloomer then? I do, but I mean, Georgia O'Keeffe didn't start painting till she was seventy, so I was in no way together enough to have some kind of big early success, uh -huh. which I think can be just as much of a curse for some people as not. And I don't think there's any rules, and I don't think anybody should feel defined by age particularly or you know everyone's artistic trajectory so to speak is, is very different this guy once said to me that music called you because i said oh, i feel sad and i don't play and he said because like it called you so do you feel like it also yeah, have you know, that sort of calling you almost have to play it's just something i've always done as long as i can remember so it's just a part of my identity but you're now starting to get starting to get sort of real your real sort of affirmation of your own talent as a musician. Well, sometimes I think that, and sometimes I don't I feel think that so. at all. <laughs> I mean, it has become more of a labor of love for for most people in the creative middle class, if you will. You know, aside from the people who are really uh, climbing the pop charts, for the most part, it's very hard to sell records or make a buck. You know, people break even, or they do it because they love it, or they do it because they're kind of young and they just want to get in a van and get high and sleep with girls or ride around and go on a tour. Would I like the system to be different? Yeah, probably I would. Uh, I'm not really afraid to say it. I think that the... I think it's okay. I, 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 yeah. We'll I would, would I like it to be different? <laughs> yes. Would I like to dismantle it? Would I call for complete <laughs> cultural revolution and dismantle the studio system and dismantle the major label system? Um, yeah. Yeah! Uh, come on! Let's do it. Yeah. Why not? Okay, I'm going to take your question that you use when you interview Tracy Owen. So, oh, who, what is your you dream really date? You really have done some homework. See? Um, who's your dream date? Who is it my dream date? Yeah, who would your dream date? No, no, who, who would, would your be dream date? Yeah, yeah, who oh, would What be? would be my dream date? Yeah, Where both. would I go? Both. Gee, I wasn't prepared for that. Now I feel sympathetic towards Tracy <laughs> Evans that I asked her such a ridiculous question. Um, I don't know, I just like to order room service and... Um, what, what, what type of room service? Sugar. <laughs> just donuts. Donuts and milkshakes. I don't know. Yeah. Pretty much, yeah. Just the sugar. Pile the sugar. Yeah. Power <laughs> room service or go to the museum or something. Okay. Why do you want to go on a date with me? So. <laughs> what piece of advice do you want to give? I, I don't want to. I don't want to give advice. I don't want to be sanctimonious and say something. I, I no. Don't listen to me. That's my advice. Don't pay attention to me. I don't know anything wrong. Um, what else? Oh, that's it. That's, that's, it? Yeah, that's a lot. That's you did a great yeah, job. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Thanks. Sure. Subscribe to Cassie's Big Night in. And we're backstage at the Shepherd's Bush Empire, and he's going to fill us in on some of his things. <laughs> no, you can't say some of his things. I don't know. What can I some say? of his things. Some of his things. Why not? You were so good. I was like, so amazing. 
Hi, this is Cassie, and we're here with Harper Simon, and this is our backstage banter where we basically talk about stuff. Better. Better. That was good. <laughs> <laughs> that was sure. a good yeah, 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 I'm working, you, I'm working on no, it. Working you, on it. You've actually you got like a presenter <laughs> thing actually oh, coming along. Right. It's a whole skill set now. I'm sure you realize.